In this demonstration, we would like to introduce new topics in research and development related to break and watch points We focus on NetWeaver Release 7 Enhancement Package 2. We will show you new features on breakpoint settings, for example, how to set a breakpoint on messages. We will introduce new features of conditional breakpoints. In case of conditional watch points, we show additional features according to objects and tables. We now show you how to set a breakpoint on a message. We went to the transaction 38. We press display and get a message. We would like to know what the message is called. We click on it and get the number and the type. We activate the debugger. We set our breakpoint on the message. Get to the top message and fill in the number and the type. Confirm this. Just go on. And now of the location where the message is called. Let us have a look at the new features and breakpoint settings. You can set a line breakpoint in a simple transformation template. You can set a breakpoint on a WebDimpro entity. If you know the components, the controller and the method, the debugger determines the name of the generated class and the breakpoint is set on it. You can set a breakpoint if you change the procedure or program. Or you can set a breakpoint on unprecise deck float computation. You probably know already that if you set a breakpoint on a method, you have got a F4 help. This was not possible in the old debugger. There is a new F4 help for ABAP statements. Let us have a look at call. You see, you can set for call function. Call function destination. Call function in remote task. Call function in update task and so on. You can choose different delete variants. You can set on delete itab or delete dbtab. We have already shown you can set breakpoints on messages if you know the number and the type. You can set also only the type, for example, for e-messages.